Hello Vibe Tribe! Welcome back to my channel, Bold and Free, and I am Vita to Fly. Thanks for tuning in. So, if you're just coming to my channel, I do a little bit of everything, lifestyle and reviews, and today I am creating some resin eyelash cases. So as you can see right now, I'm just mixing my colors to go into my mold. I decided that I'm going to make these um, pink and gold. So you just see me back there mixing the resin, which you have to be careful with because make sure you have a mask and your gloves on and that you're in a well-ventilated room. So right now I'm placing my gold leaf inside my mold. So when I get ready to pour over the, everything will be placed exactly how I want it. So right now for the second design, I'm using the gold glitter instead of the gold leaf. So um, right now I'm just spreading the glitter over the mold. So when I pour the resin in, the glitter will be at the forefront in the front of the um, design. So I'm doing it on both the top casing and the bottom half of the mold so they can match. And then I'm gonna do the same with the gold leaf on the other part of the, the bottom of the other mold. So once I have everything laid out exactly how I want it to look, um, my resin is already mixed. So now I'm just making sure everything is how it should be. And then I will prepare to pour the resin. So I'm preparing my first color, which is my pink. And I did add um, some gold flakes to the pink as well. And I mainly want that in the center of the mold, right where the eyelash lashes will lay. So I'm pouring that in the center of the mold. And, and on the bottom half, I'm gonna start pouring it around the edges. So I want it to be kind of a um, almost iridescent kind of feel like I want the pink to kind of sparkle in the center and um, then I'm gonna add clear resin around this and then kind of mix it together so I'm gonna pour um, the pink in my second mold and this one I'm doing a little different I'm focusing it more on the center on the top and the bottom just kind of playing around with it just to see what I like um, for the top part I'm going to mainly focus focus again on like where the eyelashes um, are going to lay just to see how I like it um, and then we'll add the clear resin around the edges okay so now that I'm done pouring my pink in I'm going to grab my um, little wooden stir and just kind of mix all my um, mix the gold and the glitter mix it really well in the center so it can be the focus and make sure that it's all covered okay so i'm going to do the same thing to the first mold just make sure it's all mixed in and it goes all the way out to the outer edges of the mold and that i can see a good combination or mixture of the gold leaf or the glitter and everything looks good so now i'm just going to kind of make sure I don't have any um, air bubbles inside because I want everything to look clear and pristine when I take it out of the mold. So I'm just using a lighter or you can use um, the hot air of the little blowtorch to just get any air bubbles out because this is basically like my first layer. layer. And for some, if you're doing layers, you want to let it dry, just um, let it set for um, a little while. Some people do it a couple of hours. It depended on the look that you're going for. So right now, I just let my sit for a little while because I wanted mine to kind of still blend in. I didn't want them to look like the colors were just stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to continue the pour over the mold. Uh, make sure it's filled completely and everything is covered. And I'm going to do that for the duration um, of all the modes. All right, guys, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy this pouring scene. I'm going to pour um, the clear resin in the remainder of my um, other three molds. As you can see, this can be very, very relaxing. Like just looking at the mold build and begin to form and create itself. It's just like a wonderful work of art that you're creating with your own hands. How wonderful, how amazing, how awesome is that? Okay, so... I just want to know how, what design, what's your favorite design? What do you love to create? Just let me know down below. So I, maybe I want to try something. Or if you have a design that you want me to try, 
let me know or something that you would like to see me create let me know down in the comments below and i will be happy glad to test out anything you want within reason now y'all don't go too crazy down there okay so now i'm just completing finishing adding the resin to the rest of the mold and then we're gonna let it sit and dry so again i have to make sure that everything is covered how it should be um and also want to make sure that i use all of my resin that i have already made up because i don't like anything to go to waste so then again we're going to use the lighter or a torch a hot air um blowtorch to get all make sure there are no air bubbles in here so this can look as crisp and pristine as possible you want it to be clear you don't want it to be foggy or it just looks like a marshmallow stick or something you don't want it to be white you want it to, don't want it to be yellow you just want it to be nice and clear so take this time to make sure it's done right so you don't have to redo it so you just want to make sure you go over it as many times as you need to double check make sure you use the light to get as close up on the molds to make sure all the bubbles are gone or as many as possible i prefer no bubbles at all but some people can't get all the bubbles out so just keep going over it until there are no bubbles in sight and it just look clear and pristine okay so now we're gonna burn 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 all the bubbles are going and going and gone so once you're done doing that this is what the finished product would look like and you just sit it somewhere um, in a warm room so they can cure properly and in 24 hours you'll have your product be sure to like share and subscribe so you can come back and catch part two of the unmolding see you next time